Good morning. Yeah. There's my little assistant. Yeah, he's doing really, really well. He's plumping up for winter. His winter coat is coming. <coughs> and I just got rid of the excess summer fur. So he can shed around the house again. But, as always, <laughs> when he's in the grow room, he's in a very playful mood. And playful mood means he's dangerous. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's been handled really, really bad when he was a kitten. And he's never been that playful, so as soon as he sees something move, his hunting instinct kicks in. Yeah, the big rat cat. Ah, <laughs> you see, he is not to be trusted. Purka. Yeah, he looks so sweet, but he really isn't. I can cuddle with him now. Yeah, I can pick him up and snuggle with him. And he's all fine with that. Until we get here. Yeah, the hoot is relieved. The shaman the business relieved. Okay, stuff to do today. Uh, yeah, moss. Not for mounting. It's for the zygo. Um, that's the little Oncidium pupukea, and it's not doing well, um, probably not going to make it. Well, yeah, that's the risk of buying a one bulb plant. It didn't have very much roots. It has a very, very tiny growth that is shriveling up, so it probably didn't make any roots. Nippers. Ooh, close up kitty. Uh, yeah, so that one, um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can save it by putting it in a little pot with moss. Um, Puffio petalum, a no ID. Uh, it flowered on this fan. This is a brand new one. There's a new one here. This is a new one. Uh, there's Kitty again. As you can see, it's full of new stuff, and yeah, it there's a new growth. Oh, yeah. So this is one fan with a new one coming. Uh, this is an old fan, I think. I'm not even sure about that. This is a new fan. This is a new fan and one coming so yay yeah i'm gonna split it and maybe do a trade with someone <laughs> because well yeah I, no i'm not good with these and i only have well yeah this one there's another one and i'm not going to take you close up because it looks horrendous uh i have Two uh, Phragmopediums and again they need to stay wet or at least stay moist and that's not really doable here. It's yeah I think it's a bit too warm for them. Little tuft of yellow. So that's uh, a hell of a lot of work. And first we need to expel the cat. Cat, be gone. Kst. Kst. Fit push. Fit push. Push fit. Kst. Kst. Well, that doesn't work. I have to try something else. Uh, I could always use a spray bottle when he's really, really bad behaved, but... Yeah. I think he wants to get out in a minute or so. So I'll wait. Yep, 
Yeah, this is uh, <clears throat> pretty straightforward. I'm getting it off the mount and into the pot. So it's a very small transition. Yeah, I really would like to save this one because it's a pretty orchid. It really is. That's what I thought. Yeah, it, it, it's not hydrating enough. There is something viable, but it's even making a second growth. Yeah, I'm gonna take off this really, really ugly leaf. And that's about all I'm going to do to it. Oh yeah, this is so incredibly shriveled. There's probably not enough food in it to create new roots. There's a second growth. Okay, this really needs to be saved. Or am I flogging a dead horse? Yeah. Well, uh, there's no use in throwing away good moss. So, yeah, this could do a little moist. Um, oh, there you go. Make sure the base is just covered. Not too much because that will cause rot and not enough. And the new roots will yeah, wither before they get anywhere. I'm gonna press this down. I'll gently fill up the rest. <coughs> Just a small layer. And that should be enough. There you go. Okay. First job done, and it has a tag that's longer than your kid. Hold up. Okay, um, eight minutes, let's get on with it. Um, Rose, if you're watching, uh, you probably will. Uh, I'm gonna do the catechetums for you at the end of this video, so Feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> Pafio Pedalum. It's doing quite all right. But, yay, I'm, no, I'm not good with these. And it looks like it has a natural split in it. So, Let's do what Ed always does. Let's see what's in the pot. Now, uh, this one had uh, 
immense root system when I got it. It was completely pot bound. And all I did was crack it up a little. Well, I must say that this is doing yippee. I really, really didn't expect that. Yeah, I just need to clean up. Um, this fan, for instance, is, well, the leaves are not as shiny as these because this is old. It flowered, it will never flower again. Yeah, this is a damn good root system. All good. So, that's a nasty one. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna untangle this mess and get out everything that's dead and soft, like this, and then see if I can split it. If not, it's going back in the pot. <coughs> and it is rather moist. Hold up. Or should I say, um, just bear with me, um, alcohol, lots of it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to, well, reuse bark. There is some microbloom on it, but that's not really, yeah, you see here, this is, one fan and directly behind it is another one and another one. Oh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, something needs to be done. Um, Yeah, this is my first time with a big puppy of petalum, so I'm kind of new to this. Um, untangle the mess. Yeah, I'm gonna pause you guys because this is taking way, way too long. <coughs> I'm gonna get back when I'm ready to start cutting. Okay. Uh, <coughs> If I take this one off, um, I'm also removing three new fans. So I'm just going to let this go dodo as it should. Yeah, it's... Okay, those, those are two. Three, even. And they're attached at the front of the rhizome. Here's a new one. And this is basically the one that could be taken off. But by doing so, I'm going to strip the small ones with it. And no. Those are way too small to do anything on their own. So, yay, um, <clears throat> repop. This is everything I took off. Can you believe it? Yes, you can because you've seen it. Uh, okay, um, do the do. Do do. Uh, 
no, I'm not going to reuse it because I'm stuck up on uh, bar, bar, bar. Yeah, sitting and working doesn't work. Now, you might say, well, couldn't you stabilize the bark and reuse it? Yes, I could, but that's a hassle, so I'm not going to do that. And these cost uh, $7.50 for three of these bags, so it's pre-soaked. So it doesn't take forever to get used to being wet, which is a great help. That's too much, yeah, probably. Uh, now, how does Ed do it? Seen it, seen him do it so many times and. It should do it, does it? And you have to take really good care because these roots break without warning. The leaves can take a bending, but the roots absolutely not. And I'll fill her up. Yeah, and a bag like this uh, is two of these pots or two of these. It's not much, but there's already some moss in it. And some stuff you don't need, but that's an all of them. Get it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. Hold up. No, 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 no. And that we have more bark. I really, really hate stuff that's dead and doesn't want to work with you. And this is a mixture between big bark and small bark. And for the even smaller bark, yeah, I'll have to make that myself. And yeah, these orchids, at least with the big root systems, are okay with the large bark, but if you have the oncidiums, especially the smaller ones, with the uh, really, really stringy roots, they tend to do better in small bark. And then you got cabrias and phalaenopsis that are all 
also doing a lot better in the big bar. Uh, Yeah, I'm uh, a bit surprised that this one isn't doing as bad as I thought it would. I need to be a little more confident about my growing after three years. Well, screw it. It's okay. Twenty minutes um, talking about big root systems. Um, the Cattleya or Dialelia, and yeah, it's it's a Cattleya, guys. Come on. Uh, this is the um, Chantilly lace. Yeah, it's the Chantilly lace. Um, it really smells like orange peel. It really does. That one can go. Uh, yeah. Looking at it like this, it looks good. It's healthy, nice shining leaves. Could use with a little bit more magnesium because there is a discoloration in the leaves no beasties and it's producing new roots and it's potted up in crab and being a cattleya it doesn't like to be wet for long so ah well I almost uttered a very bad word. Well, suck it all. I see we have a pretty useless bag bulb. which will be detached right now. This is the starter ball. And that's how we detach it. Well, it doesn't look all that bad. Believe me, I've seen worse, but this is no way to treat a cattleya. No, it's not. Um, yeah, it looks clean. I'm not going to chuck that away. I'm just going to try it. It doesn't take up much space, so... We have new growth here and here. So it needs a slightly bigger pot. This is... A three bulb division with two coming on. Sorry guys, it had to be done. <laughs> there was no other way. But there wasn't. Um, hydrogen peroxide, yeah, but I don't have any, so please shut up. Ah, there it was. There we go. And yes, I'm spreading some on the roots, but in this case, it's unavoidable. Um, there was another hole. 
Where was he? Now, do you want here? Well, screw it. <clears throat> um, Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give it a go anyway. Wait up. That was a new growth. Yeah. But there's two on this side. This is the old side. This is the new side. And well, yeah. It has to grow another way. It has. Um, I tell you. Away with you. Smells really, really powerful. Almost not nice anymore. Now, did we crack anything else? I believe we didn't, or didn't. Hmm. Oh no, it's still there. Now this wall sink in when it has had some water and for now I'm going to leave it um, yeah does it need to stay no it does not okay um, the catechisms are getting uh, an episode of their own because I'm already at 29 minutes and I have to stop now and make a new video and put them together again. And we're rolling again. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a long one, guys. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. Um, Moss. Moss, 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 moss. Oh. These are also going in moss. But, yeah, let me clean up first, guys, because you have been watching for a half an hour. Okay, Psycho Pendulum. And, yeah, with a stalling new growth. 
Maybe there's some more stuff coming, but let's get it out of the pot. Yeah, that is some rubbing. Yeah, this is probably not um, how you should treat them. But, yeah, this, uh, it flowered on this one this year, as you can see. It's caloric and it lasts for months. But I need to get this wood chips off because it's going in bark. Not, yeah. I'm going to leave some of the bark because I'm going to do more damage removing it than I would leaving some of it. And yes, Michael, I know I shouldn't do this this way, but it's the only way. That stuff. Okay, I did enough damage, I think. Um, it needs to go in here, like so. And this is probably not enough moss. Because it needs to be very tightly packed. Moss and much more. I think that and again, this is wild moss, untreated. Why do they all need different care? Yeah, I could buy one species of orchid and keep it at that, but no. I need to have as much as possible. And as weird as possible. Yeah. 
No, we're not there yet. Not even close. Yeah, I'm not going to push it any tighter because I already did enough damage and I'm not sure. Hey, a new growth. Somewhere else. Uh, yeah. I really hope that this one will take because the chances are very slim I'm going to find another one. Now, keep it wet. Yeah, it will be uh, floppy for a while, but that's all right. Okay, um, that went faster than I expected. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, the the little caplias in a new home yeah this this could form a new eye no doubt about it but we'll have to see uh, hold up you won't and that's our own water of course. Yeah, these roots are not that bad. It now all depends on what does the plant want. Will it take the effort to grow a new growth or will it say screw you and buy a new one? Yeah, well, do we need a steak? Bomber. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, hold up. wonderful clips um, no good tip if you have stakes check if the bottom part is plastified plastified is that a word no I don't think so but all the other stakes tend to rot after a certain time and they always rot on a place you don't want them to rot and hopla, okay, the clip. Does this work? Yes, it does. Okay, now quickly for the last one. And then I have a ton of stuff more to do. But that's not repopping or remounting. Oh yeah, I need to do some mounts. Do I? No. This is enough. I've been standing on my legs for far too long already, so... Well, <coughs> this one is probably Dodo.
but I'm going to give it a go anyway. You never know, do you? No, you don't. Uh, yeah, I need to resupply my moss. I think I'm going to do that today. It's nice weather. They promised heat again. I really don't hope so. There you go. Now please don't need a steak. No. Okay. So. Hopla. Okay. Um, and that's almost 40 minutes. Uh, it is 40 minutes. That's really, really wrong. Ah. So, yay. Uh, thank you for all the IDs. I have now multiple jungle monarchs. Um, I probably some. Uh, well, yeah. They have multiple genera called with. Uh, named with jungle cat so a wild cat jungle cat we'll see when it flowers um, I just discovered some more spikes so I will have more IDs in a while uh, 30 minutes oh yeah I'm gonna put these two together yeah this is it guys later and uh, sorry for the length <laughs>